in today's episode of The Bugs, Buzz and Beyond. We're diving into the wild world of insect misinformation, a place where tiny creatures get blamed for big legends and rumors grow faster than caterpillars after a leafy buffet. Welcome to today's topic, Five Insect Myths Debunked. Myth number one, daddy long legs are the most venomous spiders in the world. They just can't bite you. If this myth were a creature, it would have more legs than facts. Daddy long legs, also called harvest men, aren't even spiders. They belong to an entirely different group, which already kills the myth before it even begins. They don't have venom glands, fangs, or any way to inject venom. In fact, they're gentle little scavengers with long wobbly legs that make them look like they're constantly trying not to trip. The only thing deadly about them is how quickly this myth spreads across the internet every year. Myth number two, all bees die after they sting. This misconception is like saying all humans have the same haircut. Wildly inaccurate and strangely specific. Honeybees do die after stinging mammals because their barbed stinger stays lodged in the skin. But other bees, bumblebees, carpenter bees, and many solitary species can sting multiple times and fly off unfazed like tiny winged warriors. What's fascinating is that honeybees evolved their one-time sting as a last resort defense for the hive, not themselves. It's the ultimate act of selflessness. Tragic, heroic, and very bee-like. Myth number three. Cockroaches will survive a nuclear apocalypse. Hollywood has convinced us that after the world ends, Cockroaches will be the ones rebuilding civilization. As dramatic as that sounds, reality says otherwise. Cockroaches are tough. They withstand radiation better than humans because their cells divide slowly. But there's a limit. High levels of radiation that come from an actual nuclear explosion? That would take them out. Not instantly, but definitely. The real contender for ultimate survival champion is the tardigrade, a microscopic water bear fluff nugget that puts cockroaches to shame. So the next time someone claims roaches will inherit the earth, feel free to correct them. Kindly, of course. Myth number four. Butterflies taste with their feet. This one sounds like playground gossip, except it's completely true. Butterflies have chemoreceptors on their feet that allow them to taste what they land on. But don't picture them stepping in chocolate and thinking, yum! They're not tasting food for themselves. They're detecting chemicals in plants to determine whether a leaf is suitable for their future caterpillars. It's basically the fastest grocery shopping technique ever invented. Touch, taste, decide. Efficient, elegant, and very butterfly. Myth number five. Fireflies glow because they're friendly and wholesome. Fireflies are magical. Beautiful little lanterns drifting across the night, but friendly, innocent, pure-hearted. Well, some of them are also professional tricksters. Certain firefly species mimic the flash patterns of other species, luring males in not for romance, but for dinner. It's the original glowing catfish scam, and it works surprisingly well. Of course, most fireflies glow to communicate and find mates, 
and some even sync up their flashing in massive groups, nature's own light show. But lurking beneath that sparkle is a bit of insect drama worthy of its own soap opera. Now, it's time to see how much you've learned from today's episode. We've got three fun trivia questions coming up. Ready? Let's start. Question one. Which insect myth is actually true? A. Bees die after every sting. B. Cockroaches can survive nuclear explosions. C. Butterflies taste with their feet. D. Fireflies glow because they're friendly. The correct answer is C. Butterflies taste with their feet. Butterflies use chemoreceptors on their feet to detect plant chemicals, helping them choose the right leaves for their offspring. Let's try another question. Question two. Why don't daddy long legs qualify as the most venomous spider? A. They have too many legs. B. Their venom evaporates quickly. C. They aren't spiders and have no venom. D. Their fangs are too soft. The correct answer is C. They aren't spiders and have no venom. Daddy long legs belong to a different group entirely and lack both venom glands and fangs, making the myth impossible. Let's move on to the last question for this episode. Question three. What makes some fireflies deceptive hunters. A. They use glowing dust to blind prey. B. They lure males using false flash signals. C. They dig traps using their larvae. D. They mimic predators' sounds. The correct answer is B. They lure males using false flash signals. Some fireflies imitate the flash patterns of other species to attract males, only to eat them. Nature's glowing tricksters. Great job if you got all three questions correct. If not, you still learned something delightfully weird today. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.